Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you uh, the second part of my solver video series, which is how to create a solver with VBA. So uh, in the first video, in the last video, we have uh, discover, uh, discussed the difference between GoSick and a single solver and single solver with different criteria. So now let's say we need to do the same thing with different criteria, but we want to do it with macro. So again, like this is really just a, a few lines of macro codes, but then actually um, uh, the same thing as when you have a solver, remember you have to uh, make sure you install this solver add-in from uh, the data tab. You actually need to do the same thing for your VBA. So for example, now um, if I go into my VBA um, uh, table, uh, like the interface, and then you see now I have my uh, solver code already written up, and then I want to solve it by run it. You see, this is an error I get, and the, uh, the reason for this error is because I have not installed the solver, uh, the solver adding. So in order to do that, uh, you actually need to go to reference under the tools and then with reference different VBA projects you will see solver here and then you actually need to uh, click on it and then OK it and then the solver is going to install for you. If you want to know more detail I would recommend you to go to this page uh, patiertech.com uh, excel solver VBA and uh, it has more um, elaboration on the uh, reference of the solver adding which I found pretty helpful. I will also include the link in my sub uh, description so you can uh, also uh, visit the website as well. Okay, so now we have the solver installed. So now let's see how the uh, VBA codes can help us to create a solver. So it's again like just a few lines of code. It's not hard. And let me run through it uh, line by line. So the first one uh, is to make sure that you're selecting the right workbook and the right uh, worksheet and then it's activated the one that we have here. And then the second one is to um, make your solver set up and then you want to set cell L13 in this case, which is the total gap uh, for the total cache here. And then uh, for our objective here, we try to minimize it. And that means that here it's equal to two. So just for your reference, um, this is how the solver OK function is set up. So here uh, is the function and the optional variance. So one, if it's equal to one, then it means it's the maximize. If it's two, minimize, and if it's three, then it's a specific value. So in our case, we want to minimize this, so it's two. If we have three, then we actually also need to add value equal to something after this to make sure we are matching to a specific value. But then now it's minimized, and then uh, and then we say by change uh, to uh, by changing the cell G G eleven and J seven here, um, and we also have the solver add function here with reference of cell G eleven, uh, which is this cell, and then we say the relation is three and formula tax equal to two percent. So actually if you look at the server add function, three means that we want the relationship to be greater or equal to. Um, and again, like I'll provide those uh, links in my description so you can also go in to check in more uh, detail. So uh, relationship equal to three, uh, so which means like greater or equal to 2%. And then the same for J7, which is greater or equal to 3%. And then solver solve and then end sub. So now if you have this setup and then you go run, it's going to do exactly the same thing as if you did um, the solver and then OK, you find the solution and then it's satisfying all the results here. So it's essentially, if you look at our setup, setup in here, actually it's exactly the same thing that we're doing here. We're just realizing it uh, with 
Excel code, VBA codes, so we don't have to manually provide it here. So this is how you can do a single solver with VBA. And then in my next video, I'm going to show you how you can use the solver and loop function to create multiple solver for multiple lines of records. So again, like saves your time and you don't have to do them all manually. So see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you like it. If you have any question, please leave me a comment and I will talk to you very soon.